Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. big item here and I'm going to do an unboxing and a review. So what is this? First of all, this thing weighs like 99 pounds shipping weight. Um, it, it's heavy. But we have a Pulsar PG3500MR portable generator. So really excited about this piece. This is gonna allow us to have power down here on site for building, for, for living, whatever we need power for. So, before I bust into the box though, I wanna kinda of show you a few things that are on the box here and, and talk about some of the features of this uh, Pulsar gasoline powered PG 3500MR generator. So let's take a look at it. Okay, again, this is the box. And 3500 watts, that's peak uh, wattage, 3500, uh, 3000 rated watts, 208 cubic centimeter overhead valve engine, two 120 volt outlets. It's got a 12 volt DC outlet, 12 hour runtime at half a load, a four gallon fuel tank, recoil start, and includes a wheel kit, which is supposed to be looking something like this when I get done putting it together. And uh, yeah, it is also CARB and EPA certified. So, one of the other things that I wanted to show you is it has this wattage chart on top of the box here and it says basically what you can run with 3000 watts 3500 watt peak so you have starting watts and running watts so light bulb 50 to 150 radio 100 to 200 television 150 to 500 a computer 800 a laptop 200 cell phone 25 microwave a thousand coffee maker 600 to 1500 slow cooker 250 blender 850 startup and running is 400 hand drill 1000 to 1500 and then four to 600 running watts circular saw 13 and a thousand table saw 15 and 1250 and an electric fan 600 to 200 so kind of cool that it gives you this little chart and, and these are just averages I mean it's not set in stone but these are averages of what these appliances are going to draw as far as their wattage requirements to operate so it kind of gives you a good starting point that if you want to add up how much stuff that you're going to have running off of this generator it, it lets you know pretty much ballpark what kind of wattage requirements you're going to have to run these different items. So I um, thought that was really cool, wanted to show that to you, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the camera back over on the stand here and we're going to open this thing up and take a look. Now remember I told you that this thing has a shipping weight of 99 pounds, so not real sure that I'm going to be pulling it out of the box myself. but. Okay, first thing you come to, we have an owner's manual, and I will be sure to read through that uh, page by page and make sure that I familiarize myself with the operation and care of this generator. A little packing material, and voila, there we have a generator. Let's see. Oh, it's not terrible that out of the way. Uh, okay, so, actually 
when you guys are looking at the back of it. So you see the engine sitting here. Um, I'm assuming that this is the fuel tank up here on the top. Spin it around. Now it's got a gauge right here that uh, I guess is going to show you when the, uh, the tank is full or when the tank's getting empty. So uh, some warnings, cautions, you know, things to read, uh, be familiar with. But uh, on the front, you see that here's my two 120 volt outlets, 20 amps each, and they both have circuit breakers attached to them. This is my main AC breaker. This is my 12 volt DC adapter. It also has a breaker with it. You got a start, or not a start, but a on and an off switch. So, like I said on the box, it is a recoil start. And that's over here on this side. Here's the starter, the start cable, of course, got some stuff there. And this, I believe, is going to be, and they, they actually have a gas shut off too, so I can uh, turn the gas off to it, which is nice. But uh, it'll have a handle and some wheels, which I'm sure are probably somewhere tucked inside all of this. But it's got a little wheel kit so that uh, I can put the wheels on it and, and make it a little bit easier to move around. So anyway, really excited about this. Uh, I ain't too excited. That's broken though. The, the cover on the front of it is broken. So um, we're going to have to call somebody and let them know that, uh, that the front cover on this is broken. I don't know if they're going to send a new part or if they're going to send a new generator. But uh, anyway, you guys got to see it just as I did, that uh, apparently it was damaged in shipping. It came from Canada, and we are going to have to get a hold of somebody and find out what they're going to do about that. So anyway, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the wheels anywhere either. So. That's all I got for right now. Real excited about the generator. A little bummed that it's gotten damaged in shipping, but we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. So, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. God bless. Take care, and remember, pay attention to the details, <laughs> and don't do this after you've just ate breakfast either. All right. See you. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.